Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a quick look of the Vox Bobcat S66 in transparent cherry red. Uh, a guitar you may want to snag before they're all gone. interested in them and then I saw the price at 1500 bucks and my interest kind of faded um, a little while ago Vox lowered the price of these down to about 800 bucks and I was a little more interested then uh, but recently Vox lowered the price of these down to 499 through their direct you know reverb shop and I think at that price um, if you can add one of these to your collection it's kind of a no doubter uh, especially the s66 model of the Bobcat with its you know cool three single coils. typical semi-hollow design. It's laminated maple, you know, top, back, and sides. Uh, there is a weight relief spruce center block, um, you know, in there. Um, my guitar comes in at about seven and a half pounds, which is, you know, pretty good weight for, you know, these kind of guitars. Um, obviously going through, you know, their direct shop on reverb, you can't really pick the weight. So I don't know if I lucked out and got a, you know, relatively light one or if the majority of them, you know, are lightweight or not. But, uh, you know, very, very, very nice, you know, design typical of, you know, this kind of guitar. It does have an ebony fret board with the cool, you know, mother of pearl block inlays. The frets are kind of a medium sized fret and the fret work on this guitar was really nice. The frets were all level and the ends are all nice and smooth. <laughs> Stock has this cool vertical Vox logo, which I think is kind of cool looking. Um, now the nut um, doesn't say what kind of nut it is. I'm, it, it seems like some kind of synthetic, you know, bone nut. Um, the slots were cut, you know, good as far as the angles go. They were not quite as deep as I'd like them, um, you know, for the kind of action that I like. So I did go ahead and, you know, basically re-slot the nut to get the action lower. Um, that's kind of a personal thing. You might like the action the way it is, you know, right out of the box. But like I said, I, I like my action pretty low, so I did go ahead and, you know, redo the slots on that. But, uh, you know, the nut itself is cut and shaped nice. <laughs>
so the Grover open gear tuners that come on this guitar are actually really, really nice. Um, thanks to Graphic, though, I've had this set of ratio tuners, you know, in the open back style for probably almost a year now and didn't really have a guitar that, you know, I really wanted to put them on. So when I got this guitar, I thought, hey, I'm going to go ahead and throw those on there. So these tuners, they're not locking tuners, uh, but they do have, you know, obviously the, the Graph Tech ratio technology, which I'm a firm believer in that. And since they would go ahead and, you know, fit on this guitar without any modifications, I did throw them on here. They're definitely an upgrade to the Grover tuners that come on the guitar. Although, you know, like I said, those tuners are really, really nice. Uh, these Graph Tech ratio tuners are really, really sweet. And since, you know, there was no modification to the guitar, I went ahead and threw them on there. Moving down to the electronics of the guitar is where I think it, you know, this, this S66 really shines. It's got three of the S single coil, Vox single coils, and um, it's got three-way switch, and there is a master tone, and there, there's an individual volume pot for each one of the single coils. So basically, um, with the three-way switch, you get, you know, the bridge, and then when you go in the middle, you get the bridge and the neck. And then when you're up here, you get the neck, obviously. The middle you work in by just rolling its volume up and down. So, um, you know, when it's down, you know, the switch works like I just described. Uh, but then when you're down here, you can roll that, you know, middle in. So here you get, you know, the middle and the neck. In the middle, you get all three. And then up here, obviously, you get the neck in the middle. And then, you know, you can kind of blend all the pickups in however you see fit. So, you know, you can see there's there's a lot of different tones you can get out of this guitar. Now, I do find this guitar to be pretty bright, which is not, you know, what you would first maybe think of with a semi-hollow guitar. Um, but it's kind of cool because I have a lot of semi-hollow guitars and they're, they're, I have, none of them are this bright. So it's kind of, it's kind of a cool um, you know, option to have, and it's it's really good for you know those jangly type of, you know sounds, and I really really am you know enjoying the guitar. We'll do some tone samples for you. Of course, that means we're going to do the same riff that we always do, among some others. Thank you. 
like I said earlier, when these were first released, they were fifteen hundred dollars, and you know a lot of people got them and were really happy with them. I saw a lot of you know really good reviews with them, um, you know, at that price. So at a thousand dollars less, um, like I said, if you if you have any way to add one of these to your collection, I would do so before they're all gone because I have a feeling that once they're gone, they're gone. I mean, you know, Vox isn't. I don't think Vox is gonna you know re-release these later on down the road or anything like that. <laughs> Bobcat S66 is a really nice guitar, and I'm happy to have this in the collection. Um, at the price of, you know, Epiphone guitars, uh, I think you you know, for the same price, you can get a, a nicer guitar, uh, more unique electronics for sure. Uh, I would put this kind of on par with some of the Korean guilds. You know, I've had a couple of those, and I actually think this is probably um, a little nicer than those even. Um, and like I said, you know, at $4.99 for these now, you know, it's kind of a kind of a no-brainer, you know, if you have the money. Um, it also comes in a V90 edition, which has two P90s. Um, you know, that looks like a pretty cool guitar too. I may try to get one of those. Um, I know, it, from what I can tell, it, these are only on sale through the Korg Vox, you know, direct reverb site. Um, so check there. I know some of the original colors that these came in are already gone. Um, there was a cool V90 in all black with black hardware with a Bigsby. I'm pretty sure it's gone now. I uh, thought about getting one of those, but I waited too long. So, like I said, you know, if, if you have any interest in one of these, you know, at the lower price, uh, I would kind of jump on it because I have a feeling these are not going to be around too much longer. Uh, I want to thank you guys for checking this out with me today. We'll see you next time.